All praises to you. How about Shami? How about Shai? But Hashem Bakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And shalom warm to the lit to the nation of Israel. This is going to be a quick lesson, man. Because every now and again, I find the people of this world very um amusing, man. Because they have all this arrogance and pride about God, towards God, right? And they've understood the character of the God that they are disrespecting when they get this pride, man. Right? They believe that God... That the God of the Bible flooded the whole earth and saved only eight people alive. They say that they acknowledge this, right? But that's their reason why they are not scared of that God in their own mind, right? That's how these people talk anyway. They talk as though this is really <coughs> the kind of bravery that they would have. But it doesn't really take much in this world to shake these people up, man, and cause them a whole bunch of distress, man. And you had the event that take, took place in, uh, I believe it's in London. I know it's the attacks in the UK and I think it was in London where you had this guy running around with a sword, right? And then I was watching some videos on it and I heard how the police officer was talking to the guy, right? And how he was screaming out towards um, the civilians, shouting to them to lock their doors, <coughs> right? And all this distress and, and alarm was caused by one man with a weapon that he has to be close to you to use, right? He has to be actually close to you to use such a weapon like that. You've got more of a chance potentially. I, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong to say this, but you've got more potential chance of self-defense if somebody's coming at you with a sword or a knife than somebody that's coming at you with a gun. Because if they're coming at you with a gun, they can use the gun from close and they can use the gun from far away. And the reason why I'm saying this is because... <coughs> excuse me, even in a situation where people have got the ability to run away and stuff like that, right, it still caused these people a lot of stress, man, right, if a man's walking around with a weapon like of that kind, he can only hit the people and harm or harm the people within at least like a meter of himself, right, he can't get somebody with that sword that's five meters away because unless he's going to throw it and then it ain't going to do the same amount of damage. Right, and that still caused all of these people such stress, but yet these people have got such pride towards Yahweh, man. And that's why Yahweh is going to really shake these people down to their boots, man, and, and expose how weak and fragile these people really are because their arrogance is disgusting, man. Second, as chapter 15 and verse 14, woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction dwell of nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hands. Right, and swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. So if that's how alarmed people were from one man doing that kind of stuff, then how alarmed and distressed are people gonna be when everyone's doing that kind of stuff? Right? When all the things that people read about on the news and just say, oh, that's that's only in that area, though. Oh, that's just for them people, right? When it's in front of them, what are they going to say? What are they going to say when it's in front of everyone, man? And where you no longer have to look on the news to hear about these things. You just have to look, in, look out your window, right? Because that particular attack, that person, if if the story is what they, everything that they say in the story is true, if it is, right, that particular attack, the guy broke into someone's house while his family was sleeping, man. He broke into a man's house while his family was sleeping. He had his daughter in the house, his wife in the house, right? And they managed to fight the guy at the house. You see? So the point I'm making is that a lot of people, um, they don't really think that nothing like this can happen, man. A lot of people are very ignorant to the dangers that are really out there in the world, man. They're really ignorant to the point where some people won't even put the damn latch on their door before they go to sleep at night to make their their um house a bit more safe. Or if someone's got a gate outside their house, they'll just leave that gate swinging open all the time. They don't really care. Some of these people forget to lock their doors at night time and all kind of stuff, right? Or some of these people will have... Um, 
security cameras and they'll rely purely on the security camera and wouldn't have no idea what to do or even how to run in if something happened to them man and that's why things like this cause these people such distress man they can't handle it they don't really know what to do when things like this take place a lot of the time man yeah everyone's got arrogance towards you Howard. when when one man loses his mind and goes and do, does something a whole street ends up getting scared a whole city ends up acting scared but yet people want to have arrogancy to you Howard that made the whole earth that did the flood and they want to say that that's the reason why they're not scared of him when that should be a reason why you should be scared of him now I'm in the lesson there man these people of this world they don't really understand you how properly and that's why they are not are not scared and that's why when all hell breaks loose he's not going to protect them man shalom to the elected nation of israel shalom